Welcome back to Good Morning Hawaii. We are keeping it all local this morning with local products that benefit our local economy. Mm -hmm. And joining me now, Senator Maisie Hirono and Sherry Menner McNamara, President and CEO of Chamber of Commerce Hawaii. Ladies, thanks so much. Good morning. For Good, morning. Good morning. We're Lindsay. so excited to have you. <laughs> you. So, so ladies, you have to tell us about a, a significant event. Senator, can you tell us about Hawaii on the Hill and, and what it's about, why this initiative is so important? Oh, Hawaii on the Hill started about five years ago, and it's amazing that our partnership with the Chamber of Commerce and Sherry's leadership has led to five years of bringing uh, Hawaii products to Washington, D.C., and it had never happened before because can you imagine ice cream and all these <laughs> products and services being uh, taken to Washington, D.C., but we've had great success thanks to the, the hard work of the chamber and Sherry's leadership. So it's happening in June 12th and 13th and it is one of the most popular, it's probably the most popular taste of any state's events. And the People event. line up. And, and all of it is local products. Yes. So these are examples of some of yes. some of the products you showcase. I bet I bet these go these go quickly because oh, I love of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness so this has grown since its inception in 2014. Yes. Could tell. Mm -hmm. And so so the the effect this has on the hill what are what, what are the effects of it well, Sherry can also, you know, pipe in, Sherry, because you're, 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 you're such an important, critical part of this whole thing. Well, um, it's essentially Hawaii. Bringing Hawaii to the Hill is critically important for our state. And what's really um, amazing is the businesses that are committed to this event. In fact, it grew from 25 businesses flying up to mm -hmm. now more than 70 and more than 130 mm -hmm. in our delegation flying up because they believe that it's important for Hawaii uh, and also provides a tastes of Hawaii to our congressional leaders and which is you know. oh, believe me so many of my colleagues anticipated they say like Kristen Gillibrand she always brings her uh, young son who loves Hawaii on the hill and we, you know, we, we also give lay to everybody that never happens mm -hmm. and we have a, um, the orchid lay company that has been participating and they bring uh, something like a thousand fresh flower lay what happens is that, as I said, this is the, one of the most popular events to attend. People uh, line up, but you can see after the event, people are walking around in D.C. Mm -hmm. or Georgetown with the flower lay, and I know that they had come to our event. And this year also, it, we're really uh, um, appreciative of the fact that the new ambassador from Japan to the U.S., Ambassador Sugiyama, is hosting the chamber and all, all of our participants at the ambassador's residence. And, you know, this is a new thing. And it, I I think it is an acknowledgement of the close ties and friendship, particularly between Japan and the people of Hawaii. And it sounds like such great exposure for people that haven't experienced our amazing local products. Yes. This is a great way to showcase that. And so um, can you share some successes that, that your members have had as a result of participating in, in Hawaii on the Hill? Take sure. <laughs> so as I mentioned earlier, they go up there because they believe it's important for Hawaii. But as a result of that, a few companies have generated businesses. For example, Kalora Rum had no presence on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. But when they started going to Hawaii and Hill from the very first year, now they have more than 350 distribution channels. Wow. Salty Wahine is another company from Kauai that has generated numerous national and international awards as a result mm -hmm. of Hawaii and the Hill. So it's really exciting to see that even though they're going there to commit mm -hmm. to Hawaii, they were getting business out of it as well. That's incredible. It's such entrepreneurship. You could see it's blossoming yes. outside of Hawaii. And I think the other thing that people experience is how the participants really take care and support each other. Yes. And I, I used to go to all other states taste of, and, and I think that it, the, the aloha uh, mm -hmm. spirit and ohana spirit is palpable at our event, and this is why it's so uh, popular, and more of my colleagues, senators, fellow senators, I think come to our event than any other taste of. I can <laughs> understand why. I don't... <laughs> so, that's incredible. So you have had um, the, the most excited part about this fifth anniversary. What are, what are you most excited about for this year? 
Well, for one thing, that it's lasted this long and it keeps growing. It keeps growing, yeah. <laughs> and, and more people are participating. And, and the other thing is that so many of the people who are participating are um, not new. They, they, they're repeats. So mm -hmm. that means that they're very committed to putting Hawaii's best foot forward and showing Hawaii as, as much, much more than tourism and the military important as that is. And that we have a lot of entrepreneurs who are uh, very much, um, you know, putting forward unique products. Mm -hmm. And I would say that among my colleagues, especially the women senators, the salt is really, uh, they love the salty wahine really? products. Really? Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. And Senator Schumer loves the... Oh, yes. And <laughs> Senator oh. Chuck Schumer loves uh, what I call Spam Musubi 2.0. We kind of have to convert it into Spam Sushi, but he, he loves Spam Musubi. <laughs> and then Dick Durbin, who was the number three person on the Democratic side, he loves the fresh papaya mm -hmm. that we always have Ooh. at our events. Oh, well, I can imagine why. Those, mm -hmm. those items are amazing. And, and thank you so much, ladies. For more information, uh, people can visit uh, uh, cochawaii.org. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Yes. Perfect. COC That's Hawaii. the Chamber's website. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you guys so much again for, for being with us. Thank this you, morning. Lindsay. Thank you. Aloha. Aloha. And we'll have much more coming up on Good Morning Hawaii. Stay with us. We'll be right back.